Hello, this is ATX Drive for you. This is Andrew coming at you from Austin at the airport. Um, just wanted you to kind of see what's what's over here. If you look behind me, there's a building, and that's our it's our rest stop. This is our area for queue where we're waiting uh, for our, our ride to come up. I went to San Antonio. I left. Uh, I have a video on that. Their, uh, their area is not nearly as nice as ours. Uh, we used to kind of have an area that was kind of like the way theirs is right now. But they moved us over here a few months ago. And so in that building, there are a couple of restrooms. Uh, if you already watched the San Antonio one I did mention, it's totally air conditioned. Uh, there are some chairs, some, some uh, tables in there so people can just stop and rest. There's a table out here too. But uh, we, this holds about, I don't know, maybe 50 cars, probably 40 to 50. Uh, my advice when you get queued, if you're not immediately, um, if you don't immediately get a ride after you drop off and you come over here, if the lot's full, just just keep going because they come by and they'll, they'll start shooing people off that aren't parked in actual parking spots. And you're gonna end up waiting you know, a couple of hours for your next ride anyways. I, I'm, I don't understand why people wait so long. Uh, downtown is not too far from here. Uh, I know traffic on 183 can get kind of bad, but it's worth it. I've, I've already driven and tested everything out and it's, you're much better just not staying here for the two or three hours and just, just getting on and, and, keep, and you keep driving. Um, so again, not sure why people wait so long. If the queue is that high, yeah, just 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 take off. I mean, I've I've come over here at four in the morning, five in the morning, just to test things out when I first started, and it's just not worth waiting even that early in the morning. There'll be like maybe ten cars waiting, and it's like an hour and a half before anything happens. By that time, I could have already gone somewhere. People are constantly traveling, especially early in the morning. They want to avoid all the traffic, so that's what they do. And if you're there, you get that ride. If they come back to the airport, hopefully when you drop them off, you get that uh, automatic immediate ping, and then you can go get the the, uh, the rider from from the uh, pickup terminal area. Uh, we do have the main terminal, which is uh, the Barbara Jordan terminal. Uh, this uh, you'll have. Well, I don't want to name them all off. It's pretty much all of them except for Frontier and Allegiance, both of which are at the South Terminal which is about 15 to 20 minute drive from here. You gotta go around the airport. Uh, if you look at the map, it may look like you can get there from here, but you can't unless you got, of course, uh, authorization. We don't have that. So you have to go all the way around. Uh, best bet is to head back out and then hang a right. You'll see a sign that says South Terminal. Just follow the sign, head out to the right. Uh, that'll take you around and get you over there. I think if you go to the left, it's a little bit longer. Uh, actually, it is longer because they, they, they uh, shut off the uh, exit to to get to 183, they head that direction. To the right, everything's set up. Uh, also, we're not too far from some hotels, so it is possible to get a ping, and it's only like a, you know, just a couple of miles away in which it keeps you in the queue, and it'll let you know, hey, you're not gonna lose your spot. If you go drop them off and then come back, they'll just put you right back in the queue where you were at before. Um, so just keep that in mind. If, if it's a short ride, then don't, don't panic. It'll let you know, and you'll stay in queue. Uh, there is uh, two hotels on the airport on the um, on site, uh, so you could possibly get a ping from them from one of those two. Uh, and again, uh, some of those guys are just staying there, like uh, some of the um, pilots or whatever. In which it'll keep you in queue to let you know, hey, you just you know it's, it's a two minute ride or whatever. So uh, pretty nice. It's a pretty nice area. There's also on site there is a gas station, convenience store. It's a really really nice one. It's, it's brand new so everything's really nice right now uh, but it looks like they're keeping up with everything next door there's a subway uh, Austin Java which by the way Austin Java I'm a big espresso guy and um, I think their espresso is probably one of the best in town uh, especially with the price um, you'd have to pay like five or six bucks for what I for what I do for like two or three shots some places you can do that I wouldn't do it uh, I did it one time and it wasn't worth it but as far as paying like, you know, three bucks for a few shots, uh, Austin Job is definitely a place to go. And they also have breakfast and lunch, um, dinner, and, and uh, 
it's pretty nice in there too. They're they're brand new also. So that whole area is pretty pretty new. Um, so yes, uh, I think Austin Airport is great. Uh, I went to Houston one time to their airport, and oh my gosh, just to get to the terminal, is, <laughs> it takes forever. Uh, I just left. I didn't even bother waiting. San Antonio, the the uh, terminal's right there, so it's pretty close. Uh, by the way, the setup here, our um, our ride-share and taxi area is separate from the, uh, I guess, the rest of the pickup area. So you'll want to get acquainted with that. Uh, you'll probably just want to do a dry run, or again, I do offer uh, training where it's sit down, or we can. Uh, hopefully uh, get it set up to where we can actually drive, but we can definitely sit down and I can tell you what's going on and, and uh, maybe give you a layout. So, uh, our, our, uh, so our pickup area is different. The drop-off area is the same as everybody else in the main terminal area. Now, we also have two levels. Uh, top level is for drop-off, bottom level is for pickup. Uh, just keep that in mind. But again, we're, we're, our, our pickup area is in the garage right across. Some people will call you and like, I don't know what's going on. There are signs everywhere that, that will guide them to where they need to go. Uh, they're just trying to make you go around and pick them up in the, in the, in the front, in which case, I mean, you could, but you risk uh, getting in trouble because they don't want us down there. It just causes more traffic. Uh, I would hate for anybody to lose their uh, uh, ability or whatever to, to not come to the airport. That would be terrible. So not something you just want to avoid. Just, just call them or if they call you just let them know hey there are signs posted just follow the signs just follow everybody else you'll you'll see what's going on it's a pretty nice setup uh, unfortunately some drivers when they get there they don't stop in the right spot so they end up uh, clogging up traffic which is bad for everybody else I mean they're in such a hurry and they claim to be in such a hurry that they're slowing everybody else down which is just inconsiderate uh, it's really annoying so when you get up there there'll be obvious spots where you can pull over and, and and pick up your rider. Uh, there's there's a driveway that that's where you don't want to stop. So you'll go up to whatever zone you're in, and then whatever number the pillars are marked, you'll just go up to that zone to that pillar number, pull into the parking area, and and that's where you need to be. Um, be careful, people. The, the well, this is pretty much anywhere. I mean, in town, whatever. A lot of people like to step out into traffic, so just just be careful with that when you start pulling in. Some people like to just step out, and I don't I don't know why they do that. Even if they're not waiting for you, they'll still do that anyway. So you just got to be careful down there. Uh, always watch out for the pedestrian. Um, I know they can get kind of crazy. Uh, good thing is there's no bikes around here. There's no scooters or anything like that. There's really no pedestrians walking around the airport. It's just a bunch of um, car traffic and, and truck traffic. So just some. Uh, you don't have to worry about versus being uh, a lot of other places so uh, I know this is kind of long but it is the airport so you'll want as much information as you can when it comes to this place uh, if you have any questions uh, again uh, leave a comment uh, if there's anything else you have any questions on especially for the airport leave a comment uh, please subscribe uh, hit the notification button uh, we're gonna uh, keep loading more content um, have an idea maybe uh, just have like an everyday or an every week life of a, of a ride share in Austin and, and just kind of describe maybe some of the things that happen or I don't know just kind of goof off a little bit but uh, try to make it exciting so when you come back there's something to watch that's worth watching uh, even if you're an experienced driver or experienced rider thank you very much for watching and uh, have a great day it is getting hot it's about 100 degrees it's 99 degrees right now so all you people who who came during a, a ACL or South by Southwest when it was in the 80s and you thought the weather was just so great and, and it was but hmm, now you're gonna see the wrath of the of the Texas heat the Austin humidity and allergies and all those great things that come with with Austin uh, mainly those three there's really not too much more uh, if you never have allergies by the way and, and then you start sneezing after you've been here a few months and somebody says you have allergies I know what you're going to say. I've never had allergies. Well, um, Austin's really good about, about making sure that you uh, start buying allergy medicine. That's uh, We have a, um, a secret society that does that here. It's a, so you've got to be careful. Just kidding. All right. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.